What's going on, everybody? We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the Memory Lapse, and uh, we are picking up with this Is It Drake's update featuring Terramander, and had some really close, uh, well, some not so close blowout games where we just crushed our opponents, and then really, really close set where it looks like we got a little bit unlucky to lose to an Esper deck in three. But of course, this is the risks you pay, you you, you take when you run decks like this. So. Yeah, I mean, we have our red source, we have some removal. This deck doesn't always have to play hyper-aggressive. This hand may end up being okay against uh, red. Obviously, a few more shocks would be good, but the Drake's block. Beacon Bolt not counting itself is kind of a drag. Wow, so we are just taking... Seven damage on turn two there. So the way we can set it up would be Drake this turn. Ugh. Hope they don't have it. Yuck. Okay. Oh, we do want them to throw that burn at the Drake, <clears throat> and not at us. Alright. Well, we get to block. Hmm. Probably making a second Drake here. Is good. I think we do have to attack. Spell Pierce might save us some damage, so we're gonna hold it. And if we don't find a use for it, then we'll just play Opt and grow our Drakes. Looks like we may not have a use for it in this turn. This is kind of close. Eh, I don't. Th I think we need to find like a shock or something. Take the bigger steamkin off the board. So the question is, if we attack for 6, put them to 13, the next turn, assuming we play the spell Pierce on their turn, we'd be looking at, for attacking it for another 8, then chart a course, would be 10, it wouldn't take that much more to kill them. But I think... We should play it a little more conservatively. Just in case they hit like more lava runners, they don't. I think we're not going to need the dive down here. Wow, can we engineer a kill here? One, two, three, four, five. I think we can.
Yeah. Okay. So now they need to like destroy one of these drakes. Take full control off. Yeah, we got him. Okay. So into their deck. I assume we want these <clears throat> Shivan Fires. I think we keep the Spell Pierces. We can probably cut two Discoveries for just two Shivan Fires. Call it a day. I don't think the Cannonades are that good. Kind of awkward. They're expensive. We have other things we want to do with that mana. Melody, I think, is too slow. So let's just, yeah, let's just add in a couple more Shocks. Alright. So now we just need to get one of the next two. Don't think we can keep that against red. <clears throat> this we can try to keep. Especially with the shock in hand. That's awesome for us. I think we're going to shock this to keep them from using a spectacle card here. Another shock is another excellent draw, so now we can shock whatever they play here. That's not a chain whirler. And opt. Try to find land. Lightning strike results. I think we are okay with them throwing two pieces of burn at this. So we'll run it out. Okay, so let's race that card. And let's take the two. Hmm. Maybe it would have been better to hold up the dive down on the shock. In retrospect, two, three. Yep. It's okay. So we'll hold up dive down here. Do have them on quite the clock now. From 12, even with Frenzy, it's going to be a little hard for them to beat us. It's also not impossible for them, for them to just break off. That's almost all their mana. Yeah, Perhaps our opponent made a mistake just jamming experimental frenzy there. Just, they did sort of time walk themselves. And I almost wonder if this is a matchup where it should come out. It is a little slow. Eh, I don't know. I mean, that card just does give them a lot of reach.
Mm. All right, so we have to trust that we're going to find a red source off of these discoveries. <clears throat> I feel lucky. And if they're like some kind of random control deck, we actually have like a turn one spell pierce from a search for Escanta or something. But we may actually, you know, if they show us blue white, we may want to hold it. Nice island selection. Blue red. I don't think we can afford to wait. Uh, I think we want the spell pierce. Take the mountain, leave the spell pierce on top. Mm, we're gonna have to play this game a little slow, it seems. All right, let's discovery again here. Alright, so we spell pierce so if they put anything play try to play anything juicy next turn. Otherwise we opt, and then we're gonna untap with an Enigma Drake and spell pierce to resolve it. Or dive down and protect it from those Alright, so the Enigma Drake of their own. Ugh, we do kind of want the second red source, don't we? Ours are a little bit bigger, at least. I have a coil. It's kind of hard for them to kill it at instant speed. Lava Coil being a sorcery, so this should save it for the turn. Uh, so they have the spell pierce. One, two, three, four, five. So it costs three. So we're just gonna look to adapt it. If they go to shock it here, we can try to adapt it in response. Now is the safest time to do this before they draw red land. This likely stops the attacks this turn at least. I think we have to hold though. It's a little tough because these scale, these don't, but at least we can always block one for one. Unless they have a dive down to, to pump up the toughness.
So let's see, the punish here is if they have double dive down. But then they can't pay for both through spell pierce. Dive down. That lava coil, that dive down getting spell pierce really hurt us. It put us on the back foot. So now if I'm them, I'm looking at playing another spell here because I think they want to pump this to five. This is going to put them to four. Yeah, playing like a shock or something. And then at least these trade and this gets to eat the Terramander. Sure. Shocking in my face, I think, would be better, but... Huh. Actually, that worked out pretty well for us. Lava coil, please. I think we can't take any of these. Alright, well, that could be it. <clears throat> Three blanks off discovery is not... Not what we were hoping for. And... I'm a little confused as to how... Or, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess the dive down got countered. So that, that worked out really well for us. They must have misplayed there. Maybe it would have been better for them to pay. I mean, it probably would have been a lot better for them to pay. Okay, bought ourselves another turn. But we really can't be ripping any more blanks here. Yeah. Alright, so at least this means if we draw like a Drake, maybe get it down. It can block one of these Terramanders. Another land. <clears throat> Just didn't draw enough gas that game. So I can see Melody being good, I can see Ship and Fire being better than Shock. I can see wanting to keep the Ship and Fires in because they can scale to kill. Um, I can see Rowls being really good. The Nivs and the Treasure Maps. So how much bigger do we want to go? Spell Pierce might not be very good. Chart, I think, can just uh, discovery can just come out. A lot of the spells are really cheap. I kind of, I can kind of see going down to one spell pierce. The dive down seem pretty crucial. Yeah, let's just go a little bit bigger and overload their dive downs. Mm. 
melody to steal like a terramander or something could be very good all right so if we can get like a turn two chart for two cards that would be pretty nice better than trying to protect it with dive down They're in the tank here about like maybe shocking steam vents to, sh to shock the Terramander. Nope. All right, looks like we... So this will be, this is a potential spell pierce target for them. Or maybe this opt in response. Okay, <coughs> so one spell pierce down. So we're quite a far away. I think we just want to keep churning through our deck, making land drops. This is this is very much a huh, they must be looking for land. This is very much a um, first and admitted matchup, I think. Assuming they brought it in. It's pretty standard in the sideboards. Yeah, that we will happily take. Because we can protect that with dive down as well. We just need to keep them on the back foot. I guess if they go to shock this, we're okay. This is pretty far away from adapting. And this will scale with all the sorceries we're going to play. So I guess we're hoping it's Spell Pierce and not Dive Down. Hmm. I think better to get a second Drake on board and not play into a Dive Down. Missing land is not good though. It'll be interesting to see if they attack here. If they do, I'm sure it means some kind of protection for the Drake, but then they are risking taking six damage back and potentially more. Hmm. All right, so I think we're no blocks. So they have double dive down, then good for them.
So we're doing this so that they dive down. Yep. Then we can kill this one and get damage through. So unfortunately, we drew our Nimizit and we are down land. Uh, hope we didn't just kill ourselves, actually. They have a lot of spells in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Like, actually, a shock would probably just kill us. 11, 12, 13, 14. It would come close. Shock dive down kills us. Lava coil plus an opt kill. Uh, lava coil opt doesn't kill us. <clears throat> oh, interesting. If we hit a blue source here, this is so heartbreaking. They're not attacking. I guess we triple block here. I guess they figure this is, they have to just start chipping through these drakes. Show us a land, oh, wrong color, but it helps us get to Niv. <clears throat> yeah, so we're definitely blocking. So they discard whatever this is, clear another drake. four down there. Alright, so we'll just grind it out through this beacon bolt with the dive downs. They just got to their sixth land. So hope that doesn't mean to miss it for them, because we've had this for so long. The dive downs kind of mean nothing once they get to miss it. <clears throat> Oh, they're missing a second red source, okay. They're gonna play ship and fire here. They can't really just play that because then we just get to uh, adapt it in response. Cost four to adapt. They are eight. Oh, I 
think we want to lay this out there as beacon bolt bait. Because <clears throat> this can actually enter the new visit. Sorcery speed, so they have to commit to it on their turn. If they drop a draw a three drop Drake, we can take it. If they draw a Terramander of their own, we can take it. Right. One time, land on top. This is about as good. Spell Pierce? Jeez. Ugh, this is only game two. If we win this, we have to play another match of this mirror. It is Spell Pierce. Okay, so they're empty handed. Still just waiting for that magical third land. But 15 life, good interaction, haymaker. All right, let's draw another spell pierce. Oh, finally. I mean, normally I wouldn't complain in this type of situation about not finding lands, but it's a little much. All right, so I think at this point we play the Drake first with Op Dive down, and then we play the Nib Business when we have a another because this Drake is lethal. But I don't want to just tap out six and leave them to visit there completely. So we can we can rally it. Yep. So this saw the writing on the wall. We're just gonna kill him. Uh, all right, game three. Do we want to change our deck at all? Don't think so. I'm pretty into the decision to side out some of the spell pierces. Maybe on the draw, the spell pieces are going to be better than the melody. Hard to say. Fair. Uh -hmm. How much do we want to play this chart this turn? We'll find out. Yikes. Guess we're holding the Niv, because that's pretty backbreaking. But digging through two spells, because we do want to get to lands four and five. They are testing my patience out there in Renton. 
I mean, one lava coil down on a 1 1, so. Come on, land on top. Let's see it. They can have lava coil here too. No, just double chart. <clears throat> kind of pathetic. Okay. But we drew first blood. Miss Earth, fourth land drop. So disappointing. This is how last game was going too. We ended up winning it, but this is a little bit worse. It feels like they're way far ahead now. It's just like an insulting little too little too late. Guess we just keep plowing through our deck here. Just try to get to Nib Mizzet. It's giving us the good cards, but we can't really make use of them with the mana situation that we have. And if they just play Nib Mizzet here, we probably scoop. Maybe they don't have it. Alright, Shiv and Fire kicked. <clears throat> Looks like we're taking seven this turn. Nice spells deck. <laughs> With our one one drinks. Right, so Terry Manders probably on blocking duty here. <clears throat> so let us go to end step will opt. Shock Beacon Bolt, or are they playing another, yet another Drake? Hmm. Guess we actually need this to force through the Lava Coil. Now we can make blocks. Okay. I mean, if we turn this game, I don't know what our opponent did wrong. It felt like we were super far behind.
please don't steal my favorite dragon. To just cross our fingers here. I think we do. So I'm trying to think, worst case scenario, they tap out all their mana to, to steal it. We draw, ping them. We put them in a situation where they... Uh -huh. Ew. We need to draw at least. Ping them. Jeez, how are we winning this? Put one into hand so it doesn't combo. Is it? So they, if they play any spell, they lose to the opt. So if they have like Beacon Bolt here, trigger, ping them, opt, ping, ping. Unreal, okay. I guess just more drakes equals win. Doesn't matter how big their drakes get if they can't remove ours, huh? Jeez, where's that put us time-wise? Should we try to sneak in the last round? No, we'll save it for the next video. So yeah, that's it for this one. Nice long mirror match there, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm honestly very surprised we won that second and third game considering how dire our position looked um throughout but just all of a sudden it's like we looked up we had a creature on board they didn't and they were top decking so really not sure what went wrong for them uh i kind of wish i could see from their side like what they were doing because it just it just felt like they probably should have won that one 2-0 if not 2 or at least 2-1 so yeah that's it uh, we'll be back tomorrow, or I should say in the next video, with the last round, and then uh, pretty soon, let's see when this is posting, it's going to be Thursday, which means Friday is going to be back to uh, the ranked grind. So we'll have to figure out what we're going to do, so maybe we'll we'll finish up this, uh, this run in the next video, and talk about ranked, and then we'll squeeze in one more deck before we start the ranked grinding. So yeah, that's it for this. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, follow the Twitch. Once Ranked kicks up, I'm going to be trying to do some more music streams, just casually hanging out, talking to people. So uh, follow along or follow follow the channel so you get notified when those are happening. And yeah, um, stay tuned for the next one. Later, everyone.